Now that we've seen call, let's take a look at apply. Remember that the only difference between these two is when we have arguments to the function that we're using call or apply on. In the previous example with the say hi method, it didn't matter if we used call or apply. We only start to see a difference when we start adding arguments. Let's take a look at the add numbers function to illustrate this point. Here, we are concatenating the value of the first name property with the string just calculated and the sum of four numbers, which are parameters to the add numbers function. When we call cult.addNumbers, this function behaves like we want it to, since the keyword this refers to the cult object. If we want to borrow the add numbers function from cult and set the keyword this to refer to the Ellie object, we can use call or apply. In order to pass arguments to the function using call, we separate them with a comma. So you can see here that when we use call, the arguments we pass, one, two, three, and four, are separated by a comma. In the case of apply, we pass all of the arguments as values in an array. So it looks very similar to call, but instead of comma separated values as arguments, we put them all inside of one array. We'll see in a later video why this might be valuable. In the next video, we're going to talk a bit more about bind and see just how helpful it can be when working with asynchronous code. See you then.